everyone, I'm Betsy Wild, the founder of We Craft Box, a monthly kids craft subscription box. We send a box to your home every month with all the materials needed to do four crafts every month and it can be shared between two crafters. So, because a lot of people are at home and looking for some fun activities, oh, I almost forgot to introduce my super crafters. This is Max. Max, And this is Owen. I'm going to call crap. <laughs> and they're here to help me craft up what are we making today. Salt That's right. We're going to show you how to make some salt dough and we're going to make sea creatures out of it. This Max made this one. What is this? Electric ear. And we made an octopus and we made some He's fun little... He's in the Amazon River. Some fun little crab guys. So we're going to show you um, what you need to make the salt dough batch and then we're going to show you some fun things that you can stick in the clay to make it super special. Uh, we added a little bit of glitter into ours. You can add um, some paint or food coloring if you want to color your dough. Uh, then I'll show you how you can bake it in the oven to make it hard and you can set it up in a diorama if you want to kind of, kind of complete the whole scene. Or you can leave it like this or make them into little ornaments. Okay, now to go over some of the materials that we need to make our salt dough. You're going to need a bowl, a mixing bowl, and you're going to need a measuring cup. Uh, we have this one full of water right now. You're going to need, uh, for your salt dough mixture, you're going to need two cups of flour. You're going to need one cup of salt and one cup of warm water. Okay, now we've already pre-measured ours out, so the boys are gonna help us put our salt dough together. So you can just sprinkle a little bit on the countertop. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Ooh. So we have a we have a glitter mix that we're using. So then you're just gonna start to smush it into the glitter. What I like to do is I like to be ready to bake these right away. So the kids are actually going to work on a pre-cut piece of parchment paper a on a cookie sheet. So they're going to work on here and we're going to bake it just like that. Eat all. Up. I'm going to make an eel for all So now we're going to start making whatever kind of creatures okay. you want to make. Hey, are you going to make some eels? Okay. So. First, Max would like to make an eel. He's already made it, he's that fast. So to make an eel, you can take a little piece of clay and roll it out into a log. And then I like to let the head be a little bit bigger and then push the tail out. So you're kind of going to make a snake. I'm going to make a then we're going to add it onto the tray because they're really delicate and mushy. And when you put it on the tray, you can add some special little wiggles to it. That's what I wow. That is nice. So I don't know if you can see it here, but we have our little our little eel friend. We'll call him a water eel. That's okay. We'll get it in a minute. And what you can do here is you can add little bits of fins and detail while he's on here. So I'm just going to push with my thumb some little fin details and then we'll add some texture. And I will tell you the beauty of sculpting things like this is adding texture. Mom, can you help me make the same one as you, Mom? Absolutely. So next I'm going to add an eyeball. Which eyeball should we use, guys? We're gonna, we just have some mixed dry beans that we're gonna add in here. And we're gonna use a black bean. And we're just gonna stick it in there 
stick it in there nice and snug so it doesn't pop out. And then we're going to use, what should we use? Should we do stripes? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to use some stripes. We're going to use a knife, dip it in the water, and we're just going to, we're going to do fin detail first. So we're just going to... have one more thing? Yes. Pop Real life eels do not have... Um, well, we're using our imagination to make these so they can have whatever we want. And then I want to add some polka dots on my eel. So I'm going to use a pencil. I'm going to, I'm going to start poking in some little, some little dot textures. There we go. And the pencil is really a nice tool because you can poke with it and have a small point and you can use this other end too to get some big dots, which are nice details for like our octopus friend here. We did some little suction cup details for his tentacles. So, once you have this, then we of course have to make a happy eel. So we're gonna dip our knife in the water again, and we're gonna do a little bit of a cut, and then we're gonna wiggle our knife up and down to open the mouth. Can you see his cute little mouth right there? All right, and he's done. Let's do the starfish. Okay. So you're gonna take another ball of clay. I want to make an octopus. Okay, we'll do that too. A snake. A snake. Yeah. So you're gonna take your ball. We kind of made it like a pancake, kind of a doughy shape here, and then you pinch out points. So one, two, three, four and five. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Like, this is not so pretty right now. And we're going to put it on our tray and we're going to finesse it. So I push it down a little bit more to flatten it out. And then you're going to pull Amazon your points out. Ready. Oh. A little bit I more. I my little snake. And I always think it has a little bit more charm when it's not perfect. So then we have our star shape right here. We'll flip them around so you can see. Mom? Yes. Can I be the rest of the Amazon for my sure. Amazon? Yeah, you guys could work together. Alright, so we have our star shape. Oh, man. I It's okay. We can work together. We can always make more clay. I made. Okay, so you're going to take the little made. beans and add the eyeballs in. So here's one. And here's. And then for our starfish, I'm just going to draw a happy little smile with the pencil. Here's a big snake, Mommy. So then Mommy. you can just draw a little smile. And he's pretty cute. And now if you wanted to make him into an ornament, um, just a fun little starfish ornament, we can add our little texture dots here. Hello. Go, go. Uh, what is that? What did you make? And that's a snake. Yeah. Okay, so you can add your textures and then you can poke a hole with your pencil at the very top. Be sure it's not too close to the top. And I actually just drew a circle on the bottom like that. And then you can either let them cook like that or you can put um, a pipe cleaner, just throw out a pipe cleaner through there to use as uh, an ornament holder hook thingy. So you can take it and thread it through and we'll just twist it into place. And it's okay if it loosens up a little bit, you can always just push it right back together. And that way when you're done, when it's done cooking in the oven, you can just pop it off and it's ready to be gifted to mom or grandma or brother or sister. Or if you wanted to keep it and hang it on your hey, nightstand, that's where you put a lot of your creations, isn't it? Okay, what's next? We're going to do a crab? Oh, it, Can I use this? Is, hey, that's mine. Okay, I'll use this one. Alright, so we're going to do a crab. These little guys are a lot of fun because we put little pipe cleaner legs on them so they can actually stand up and look like they're kind of walking around. So, we're going to start with another little ball of clay. We're gonna roll it into a ball. What did you want I made? What did you make? <gasps> what is that? A big eel. Oh, I like that eel. So we're gonna make kind of like a egg shape, I guess you could say. And then we're going to put it down on the tray. 
but we're gonna do it top. I dropped my plate. That's okay, here's some more. Here's some more. Then we're going to put it on the tray, but we're gonna make it standing up. So I don't know if you can see this. And then we're gonna reserve two little claw shapes. So just two even shapes, set them aside. And then two more smaller even shapes. These will be your eyes. All right, so now we're going to pinch and pull kind of like this little eyebrow area for your crab. Kind of like uh, if you think about the Little Mermaid, Sebastian, he has some very expressive eyebrows. So I just kind of pinched this little spot right here for our crab. Next, I need more you can do your eyeballs. So let's take some small balls. About, mommy, you know, I need the egg. No, no, balls. Mommy needs that one. Here, you can have this one. And then you're gonna make some small balls and smush them just lightly so they kind of look like a cookie shape and pop them on for eyeball shapes, like that. Next, you can add your claws or your eyeballs. You know, it doesn't matter what order you do this in. Um, we're going to take our other ball for our claw shape and roll it into a ball and then push it into a little bit of a teardrop shape. Then we're gonna take your knife, dip it in water, and give it a little slice and a wiggle, wiggle. Pinch, pinch. There's your crab claw. Then you can just pop it onto the side of your crab. This is why we have been standing up this way. And then you can just push the clay, smush it in to blend it to the main piece. Now we'll do it one more time. Roll out a ball. Use a little teardrop shape. Dip your knife in the water. Open up the claw. Wiggle, wiggle. No, no, no. Mommy's making a crab there. I'll help you in a second. What would you like to make? Um, one more. Okay. All right, then we're gonna pick some beans for eyes. We'll use these black ones. And we'll just pop in the eyes right here. Here, I'll turn him around so you can see. They're very delicate when they have their little claws on there. But Mom, I need I need it. Okay. 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 Here you go. And then we can cut some little crabby legs. Should we do green or black? Both. Black? Both. Both. Okay, we'll mix it up. So I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna cut two at once. Please. Please. Then you're gonna cut them. Just however long you'd like them to be. They won't stand up if they're too long, so you gotta be careful about that. And then we'll do the green ones too. And we're gonna do six crabs. Oh, I dropped my scissors. That's okay, we'll get them in a minute. Let's we'll see what we're I do. Two we'll see what different I ones. Did, Mommy. Oh, that's lovely. And you wanna be sure when you're adding extra items to your clay that you're pushing them in pretty far because if you only put a little bit in there, it's not gonna stick when you bake it. That's lovely. So we're just sticking these in the bottom of our crab evenly so that he'll stand up nicely when he's all finished. All right, so there's our little crab legs. And oh, he needs a smile, doesn't he? So we'll draw a little crab smile in there. There, he's a happy little dude, huh? All right, one more thing we can make. So we will grab another ball, make it a pancake shape, put it on your tray, and then squeeze it into whatever kind of a fish body shape you want. I got my plate. So here, I'll do them on my hand. Mommy, and then, I got my plate. Oh, good. Then you can push the fin back up and the bottom fin, and we'll add the tail separately. So remember, do this on your tray, not in your hand, because it'll stick. So we'll go ahead and finish shaping our little fishy. Pinch the tail out, kind of like we did with the starfish. And then you can shape the head a little bit more. And then I think the best part of the fish Once is I the texture. Hey, what'd you do? That looks nice. So we're gonna wet the knife 
and we're going to add some little fin markings on here. Oh, nice. And our uh, polka dots for our eyes. I like the eyes. polka dots. Okay, and then we're going to add a little bit for the, the little flipper on the side and an eyeball. Should we give him a big eyeball? What do you think? Um, yeah. Here, why don't you do a little a little black one? Keep pop, pop, push it in. Push. Very good. All right, and he needs a mouth too, right? So there, there's your little fish. Um, and we didn't get to hit the octopus and the seaweed, but basically this is a little pancake shape. You're gonna do a ball, and you're gonna push it down, and then add some snake shapes to it. On me. That's okay, I'll help you in one moment. And then you can add, this is the pencil eraser, so you can go ahead and pop some detail in there. And then beans for eyes, and this is the same thing as the octopus tentacles. We rolled out some snakes, and then pushed them together, and then we added the pencil eraser here. Now, the cool part to put it all together, We'll show you how to bake this. So what we're gonna yes in just a minute. So what we're gonna do is we're going to we're going to bake everything in the oven. There's some paper towels. We're gonna bake everything in the oven at 180 degrees for you know you can check on it. It depends on how thick your items are. Uh, we cooked ours for about 50 to 60 minutes. And just keep no, checking on them. Uh, if you can, Thank once they cook a little one. bit, you can flip Thank them you. over so that they cook evenly Thank from top to bottom. So then, once they're once they're good and hard and baked, you can take them out and let them dry. And then we'll show you pictures in a minute. But everybody has lots of boxes left over at their house. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a box. And we're going to fill the background with some blue paper, throw some flour or clay sand at the bottom, and set up our little guys in here. So our octopus can be glued in the back, and our starfish can be laying on the floor in the sand. So stay tuned, and we'll show that to you in just a few minutes here. Okay, so now you have baked all of your little clay goodies and they've come out and they look awesome. Great job. Now we're going to go ahead and set up a diorama if you want to, if you want to delete them as ornaments, that's totally cool. So we just used an old box from Amazon. Hey, everybody's got them laying around, right? So we're going to wrap it in construction paper or if you want to paint the box, you can do that too. We just used a glue stick and some uh, construction paper and just wrapped it around. We have a few pieces in here just to kind of make everything fit nicely. And then we don't have clay sand, so we're going to use a little bit of our extra flour. So we're going to add the sea of floor, some sand. So we're going to sprinkle the flour in here and just kind of smush it around. If you're doing this at home, be sure your mom and dad are okay with where you're doing it so it doesn't make a huge mess. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more. And then we can start adding. If you have tissue paper or crinkle paper or anything, anything that's kind of a fun addition to your ocean is cool. The tissue paper you can tear into little sheets, like little strips like this. It doesn't matter how tiny they are. And then what I like to do is put them all together and then twist at the end so it kind of looks like seaweed, which is cool. And you can stick it in the corner. You can do a few of those if you'd like. If you want to add a little bit of detail with marker on the blue paper, you can do that too. Um, we're going to use hot glue a little bit later to hot glue these bad boys onto the ocean. So we can glue them right on here, over here, in the background. But we can just stand some of these guys up to give you that an idea. So our octopus can be hanging out right there. Our starfish can be hanging out on the ocean floor. Our little crab can be ambling by. 
see if we can get him to stand up nicely. Rah! And then the little crab can go here. And we do have this little seaweed guy we can put in the back or even in the front there. And we have these super cool eel dudes. He can be coming out of the front. This little guy can hang out in the back. Oops, he took a tumble. And then our whale and our fish will tack up there in just a moment so you can see the finished product. All right, so now we are finished. We have our cute little Salto creations. We've set it up in a diorama and we can set it up on a shelf or on a tabletop and enjoy it for as long as you'd like. And then when you're finished, if you'd like to gift these to somebody else, we always recommend putting your name and the date on the back and then you can give it to a grandparent, a friend, or even just keep it for yourself as a sweet memento. Thanks for crafting with us. If you want to find more ideas or see what we're sending out every month, please go to our website and check us out. Thanks!